Hello, welcome to another how-to video. My name is Ditex, CTO at DVS, uh, proudly sponsored by Seagate. And today, we're gonna take a look at the new four megapixel Dark Fighter XPTZ. For those of you who have never seen the technology, it's a really great place to start. It's one of the only PTZs that also has the auto rain sensing wiper. Um, so we're gonna take a look out. I'm gonna go up and uh, use my friendly tool. Uh, my purple headed monkey squirter, um, courtesy of my little boy and that's the only way I can probably get water up to the PTZ um, without being a uh, Jesus um, and also for those of you that don't know our new catalogue is out so uh, feel free to go and uh, request a copy of that if you haven't got a copy let us know and we'll get one out to you if you're a customer uh, if you have got a copy give us some feedback we hope you really enjoy it um, one of the best things that i've come into this week i've been away in scotland with jake uh, most of this week uh, thanks for everyone in scotland who supported us and uh, came to see us really really thankful of all you guys up there we came back to this bad boy now for those of you that don't know this is bloody the best thing that's ever happened in my life um don't tell the wife that but this has got all the classic games on there. We'll be taking it to IFSEC. So if you want a challenge, come and challenge us at IFSEC. We'll probably make some prizes around it. But thanks to the marketing boys, they've done a, an amazing job on making that thing. Um, catch me in a minute. I'm going to go set up on the laptop. Well, we'll see you in two ticks. Cheers, guys. Okay, so thanks for joining us. Um, back of the PC. So I've web browsed into this uh, new 4 megapixel Darkfire XPTZ. I'll show you some of the great functions in a minute. I've set a preset now so I can go and stand by there and hopefully squirt water at the PTZ which will make the wiper go. So this is a, a brand new test of mine um, to show you the functionality. I really hope it works. But just so you know, under configuration, so for those of you that want to know, that's the new part number. Um, that's the current firmware that's released. Um, and the PTZ so you've got all of the standard PTZ. What we will do is make that minus 25. Um, you've got all of the standard stuff, so it's got rapid focus in there. For those of you that want to know how to set the rapid focus up, I'll, show, I'll do a separate video on that. Position settings, smart tracking, clear config. Under the wiper part, we've got wiper mode, manual or auto. Now the one time is when you press the preset um, or the wiper function, it'll just do it once. Auto is when it rings, it should wipe it automatically. So we'll leave it as auto, go back to live view. What we will do is, I know I set the park preset as 60 seconds as that one, so I'll change it to preset 20. Park action, preset 20, go. So it should always now revert back to the position I can squirt it with some juice. There we go. Right, I'm going to go outside and uh, hopefully get this to wipe. It might take me a couple of attempts, bear with me. Um, we might have to speed the video up, so see you in two seconds. Okay, for those that saw, I actually did get that to wipe with the water thing. It did take me uh, several attempts because um, my aim is very poor. Um, but Jake will edit this out, so it should seem a very small clip. Okay, so welcome back. So what I've done is I've downloaded some footage, which I captured um, on Wednesday night, uh, just after midnight. So I've got a standard Dark Fighter PTZ and a Dark Fighter X uh, 4 megapixel PTZ fitted on the same pole, set presets looking at the same presets as much as I could get them aligned. So when you play this back, you can see the difference in performance between a standard Dark Fighter product, which is still extremely good, and the new Dark Fighter X. You'll see there's more vibrance, there's more, it's less noise in there due to the dual sensor. It's a very clean and crisp image. 
And just um, for comparison, where the camera zooms in from that pole and looks in this little alleyway here, this is another standard 2 megapixel Dark Fighter X, which is the 4 megapixel is replaced. There's no lighting around there at all from our building. The only lighting comes from a building behind um, a little spotlight um, in, in, the, in the yard behind us, um, which is trees and it's filtered through there. So you can still see how well that performs. So I'm going to go and press play, let you watch this now, and you'll hopefully see how good the performance is. Like I say, there are as close as time together as I could get them. For note, there is lighting in the in the street and in our compound. I'm not trying to d deceive you and say, look at the performance that you're going to get without any lighting. There is light in there, so the more light you put in there, the better the performance you're going to get out. But because they're all fitted in the same place, you should see a good comparison in this. In a town centre environment or like a public space, uh, retail, wherever you're going to fit this, most people do have supplementary lighting of some sort available, which will enhance the performance. So I'm going to go and press play and hopefully you will see if I'm very quick. Performance. So they're all trying to look at the same place now. So you can see that's zooming in on that tree, unfortunately, because of where it is on the column. But you can see... the definite improvement in performance looking at that bin area. And you can see the net when this one moves around. So what I will show you is if I show you the dark PDZ um, on myself again, we'll just go quickly through that. So you can see, still a perfectly acceptable image. We have got lighting on the buildings from the office, for instance, still lighting up the area. Zoom in there, still, again, perfectly acceptable. You can see it's starting to get grainy. That bit there, you can still see it. You'll see the difference when we use the 4 megapixel version. Again, down to the end of the road. It's focused and you can still see details. Again, that compound. And again, when we use the 4 megapixel, you'll see the difference in the compounds. So that's the compound opposite us. Again, you can still see in there, they don't have any lighting in their compound. And But it is grainy. You can see the noise starting to creep in. And then back to our um, preset position. So if I show you the dark fight uh, 4 meg one, we just put that back at the beginning. See there, so that's that side of the building where there's no lighting uh, down our side of the building. Still a very, very good image. You can see the rat trap there. Again, end of the road, just focus on the tree, um, but you still see details down there. I can't get the tree down, unfortunately. It is in our way. Again, that junction to the retail park, look how clean and noiseless that image is. In store, look how the improvement on that is you know, ridiculous, massive improvement on that. Down to the end of the road. That compound there. Look at the detail, that, you know, actual colour burst you get through that, it's fantastic. Again, you remember that was noisy. Look how clean that image is. Over the floor area. And the compound, back to our compound position. So you can see that's our normal outside of our building. That's what it's most of the time and does a very, very good job. That image is very good. And just for note, the Dark Fighter X, which is at the side of the building, if I just play that. That's down the side of the building where the PTZ zoomed in that, to that doorway there where the rat trap is I just mentioned. No lighting down there at all. This is the 2 megapixel Dark Fighter X image and it still does a fantastic job. The only lighting I said is from the building behind. So 
you can see the difference in performance. Make up your own mind. There's a massive, massive difference in my opinion. Um, and it's as close as a difference I could get by fitting them in the same location. So you can actually see a real world difference. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video. Uh, don't forget to keep liking and then subscribing. Uh, follow us on all our uh, social media, Instagram now, Facebook, LinkedIn, etc. Uh, YouTube, keep commenting, sharing, liking. We really, really appreciate and value all of your feedback. Um, it really, really is appreciated. We're going to run some competition soon. We're just lining up some great giveaways. And next week we got some um, equipment from Optex, hopefully, that we're going to be able to demonstrate. Peace out. See you soon. Cheers.